Mine says we're live. All right, so I want to uh, welcome everyone to our first Meet the Candidate. And just a reminder that our goal here is simply to uh, get to know each candidate at more of a, a personal level and kind of find out who they really are. And we're gonna do all that in 15 minutes. So uh, Courtney, I'm gonna let you do an introduction quickly and then we're gonna get right to it. Okay, well, first of all, I'm Courtney Lackey Wilson. Um, I have this background. I'm not there right now, but I was earlier, and I just wanted to start out with um, a thank you to everyone that was able to make it out to pack the pack this morning and, um, and pray over our, our staff and our students and their safe return and safe school year and um, for it to be as productive as possible. So I just wanted to start out with that. Okay. All right, so uh, the very first question that I have for you is, um, where were you born and raised? I was born in Fredericksburg, Texas. Uh, all, um, most of my extended family is located in the Hill Country outside of um, a small town outside of Kerrville. And, um, and that was the hospital at the time. So we got to make the drive and, and I laugh now. So if you're one of those shoppers that like to visit Fredericksburg, uh, my hospital is now a shop, I think. <laughs> and it's on the main strip. It's the Keitel Hospital, still has the words on top. My mom got to walk a flight of stairs and labor because there was no elevator in the building. <laughs> and um, so it's kind of it's really neat heritage, a very large family. And uh, we got to Mansfield as quick as we could and um, went through school and graduated with the class of 89, which is, I think, by far the best class to graduate from Mansfield. And, um, and from there, went on to Tarleton State University. Go Texans. Okay. So what was your very first job? My very first job was where now everyone knows as the Sam's Club, was a Safeway that then became a Kroger, then got leveled. <laughs> <laughs> now yes. became, and um, I was a checker with um, okay. actually um, several of our classmates worked there as well. So some okay. very <laughs> And did you have any idea when you were uh, a child what it is that you wanted to be when you grew up? Um, you know, I don't think that I ever was just sat on what I wanted to do. You know, I, I went through the phases of the dream child, you know, where, because um, I was always in a dance, you know, at the time we didn't have as much lyrical, but we did the tap, ja jazz and ballet, and then on the dance team in high school and in college. So, you know, I always thought it would be fun to get to go into um, that industry, you know, performance. But um, we've always had, our family's always been very much about children. So I don't think it was, um, and, and we, have, we have several family members, you know, my aunt has been a teacher in um, Kerrville ISD for well over 50 years. <laughs> yes, and counting, a retiree hire. And um, so we've always, uh, my brothers both have the degrees in education also. And um, I think that it was just, we were drawn to it. You know, we've, we've always, we're very family oriented uh, people and um, enjoy just the, you know, the education and the working with students. So I don't, I think it just kind of came to me by natural, you know. Okay. So what is uh, the one favorite thing about your uh, career today? The one favorite thing that you, that you look at and you go, I love this about what I do. Well, for those that don't know, um, I do work uh, with directly with the superintendent and school board in Cedar Hill ISD. And, um, and so um, I would say it goes back to the students just, um, you know, I'm currently am on the board here in Mansfield and, um, and it's just, uh, they, they always, they just cease to amaze me, you know, and that's, it's the best job to, to see you return, you know. And, um, how, uh, how do you like to spend your spare time? So what do you do? What are your hobbies? Um, well, I have a blended family of seven children. <laughs> so hobbies, um, you know, we, uh, it's, it's a lot of family time. You know, I have six nieces and nephews. Uh, we are, it's, it's constantly somebody's birthday and somebody's, you know, let's have a get together. It, course it's been limited lately but um we uh um it's really all about um our family so when we have free time um I'm most always doing something with with a kid <laughs> okay 
How would your uh, friends describe you if you were to give me um, three words that described you? What would they be? Um, I think I'm uh, I'm known to be very um, open-minded. Maybe um, I'm also um, I think I'm a strong person, and you know I I get comments a lot jokingly saying, you know, you're always saying what everybody else is thinking. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not a real gray person, you know, I'm always just going to be, you know, blunt with it. You know, sometimes I have to watch being blunt with it <laughs> because sometimes people don't know how to read that, but it's not, you know, it's not in any way directed. Um, I think I'm a compassionate person. You know, I think that um, um, I do, I do want to make it work for everybody, whatever it is we're doing, you know, and that's not always possible. Okay. Um, if you could have uh, dinner with four people, uh, living or dead, who would they be? Lori, <laughs> my grandparents. Okay. And why? Um, they're the basis for all that I am. So, you miss them. You do? Yeah. So, if, let's say that there was going to be a movie about your life, who would you want to play you? Oh, Penelope Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> Is there somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. Good, good, good. All right. So I want you to think back um, on a, a favorite uh, childhood memory that you have that impacted your life. Um, to this day, it's something that stays with you and always does. Oh, you know, we had a really good childhood. And, um, and that's probably why I'm so attached to my family members, like I just said. Um, you know, I got to have it, the classic, which you read about, I think, you know, I mean, there were always, you know, my parents, there might be a time that they had nothing in the bank and they may have had tons of dollars in the bank, right? We just didn't know it. You know, we were happy. Um, we, we, I just, I can't pinpoint just one moment because it was always just fun and, and a good time and all my extended family and, you know, got to play outside all the time and, um, you know, and, and being in the country with my cousins and things like that. So I think that um, my overall childhood probably impacted my life and what I want for my kids and even in the, in the kids that, you know, that I'm concerned about, you know, in both districts, you know, you just want so much for them to, to get to have some of those experiences. And it's just family time. It really is. Yeah. Well, that's, that's a repeated theme that I keep hearing just in this very short time, how, how central family is for you. So do you have a, um, specific motto or creed that you live by? Um, I would say one of them is um, uh, prepare for the worst and hope for the best, You're right? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I've always, um, you know, it's, it's God, family and friends, you know, and uh, being a servant to our community. Okay. Do you have a, um, a specific um, hero or uh, somebody that you admire? Well, yeah, my mom and my grandma. Okay. So, um, just seeing, you know, the, the way that the generations, I have older grandparents and younger, grand, and younger parents, right? And so um, just knowing, you know, the, the resiliency that, that women have to have right and all that their generations have incurred but yet uh, seeing them be the the strong women that they are and the way they took care of their families you know you never knew like what kind of struggles they had because our lives were so intact you know wow okay um if you could go back in time is there a specific year that you would like to travel to oh I love my senior year. <laughs> okay. You know, 
class class of 89 fighting tigers you know so um yeah i love my senior year i love i mean you know i just i just really have been fortunate enough to enjoy life but we've had some hard struggles don't get me wrong i mean our family's not without it but um and definitely you know i will say that i enjoyed tarleton state university for four strong years <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. Um, is there, do you have a favorite book or a favorite movie? Um, books. I like to read all kinds of books. So that's kind of hard to pinpoint. You know, I like um, the, um, you know, books that we, you know, we've read with in, inside both districts, actually, you know, um, on, um, on performance or, you know, moving ahead and, and strategic planning. Um, but then I also like, you know, some of the, the um, more up-to-date classics like Pillars of the Earth, you know, so I, I read, you know, I'm one of those people that may have five different books going. So um, movies, if I just want to chill out, I like a movie I don't, that's good hearted, but I don't really have to think much about, you know, Sweet Home Alabama, you know, just think simple things like that, you know, I don't want to have to, but you know, if you really want to go classics, I'm, and I consider them classics, you know, I'm a Grease and Urban Cowboy girl. <laughs> So, you know, I just like a movie that I can just chill out to. Okay. All right. So if you, let's say that you were a, a, a superhero, um, what powers would you have? Mm. Well, I would just want to beat up mean people. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I mean, that's a, that's a superpower, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Here's a, huh? Get kids out of bad situations. That would feel good to me. So. Okay. Here's a, a kind of an off the wall. So um, if you if you looked at all the animals that are in a zoo, what would be your favorite zoo animal? A zoo animal. Hmm. I, mine are two totally different ones. I would probably say the elephants. Okay. And uh, I like the zebras too. Okay, like so so tell me why the elephant. Um, they're so strong. They're I think they're cute. I know that sounds weird, but I think they're cute. I like their big ears and all that. But I think that they're just they're strong animals that um you watch them the way they they walk in a herd and they even heck, take care of each other's you know babies like our. Yes. And, um, but at the same time, they can be, you know, docile, caring animals, you know, so I don't know. I just like them. And zebras. And zebras. Zebras mostly just because they're really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, too funny. Well, we've got like about two minutes left here. Uh, I'm going to ask you uh, one last question. If you had a warning label, what would yours say? Um, let's see. Probably it, um, proceed with caution speaks the truth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's what I was thinking in my head. So yeah, that's good. Well, I think what we learned is that family is, is really, really strong in you. Um, and uh, it definitely impacted your life, um, and it's and it's what you still um, uh, impacts it today. So um, interesting. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, we look forward to the candidate forums. Um, so thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for going through the process and being the first one. So thank you very much. Okay. All right. Bye bye.